Hey, what's up guys? It's Jake back for another AngularJS tutorial. So today, instead of going over just basic AngularJS, we're going to go over using TypeScript with Angular. So in order to do this, you need Node.js installed on your computer and also TypeScript. So to do this, we can go to the Node website to download and then download whichever one you need for computer. I'll put this link in the description for you. And then next, once you install Node, uh, if you're on Mac, you can go to Terminal and you could use Node from there. For Windows, you can go to Command Prompt. And then from here, you could say, on Mac, you have to use sudo. So sudo npm install, and you say tsc, and we'll say dash g, which makes it global. So I'm not going to do this since I did it already, but once you run this, it's going to ask you for your password for your computer. You just enter that, and then it will install. And for Windows, you just do npm install tsc hyphen g. So now that we have that installed, we're all set and ready to go. So let's go to this basic HTML file I have here, with just a title, and I import the Angular library, Angular 1.6.9, and I have this also, this typescript.ts file, which is just a TypeScript file, an empty TypeScript file. And as you can see, I, I don't have that linked on the HTML file because most browsers can't compile TypeScript. So we're gonna have to use the TypeScript library that we downloaded. And that using the npm. So let's just make a simple Angular application using TypeScript. So we can go into the script.ts file and we do the normal angular.module main app. And let's not import anything yet. And then let's just uh, make this one line and say let app equals this. So we're going to just create a new Angular module called main app. And let's, we can copy that or just uh, remember it and put it here in the HTML tag. So that's going to connect our HTML to our JavaScript. So we have that, the main, the main Angular module set up. And then let's add a controller. So this is where the TypeScript will really come in. So you could say class main controller. So if you have any uh, experience in Java, this is going to be a lot more similar to that than normal JavaScript. So it uses a lot of more object-oriented um, features than normal JavaScript. So we have class main controller, constructor, and the constructor, let's just say, let's take scope. And in TypeScript, you can, if you're not familiar with it, you could do colon and then you specify the type. So you could do any number, uh, string, um, or it, you could use the ng, or like angular library, and say like angular dot something, but I don't have that connected yet. So let's just leave it like that for now. So we have this set up, and then we have to add something else. Um, we have to add a public variable, public static inject. And there's gonna be an array of strings of all the things that we import in the constructor. So let's create this, and then in the constructor, let's just say scope.message equals hello world. So we have that, and the last thing we need to do is add this main controller to the module. So after this, we say app.controller main controller main controller. So now we have the Angular module here. We create a main controller class, and then we add that um, controller to the Angular module that we created. So the last thing we have to do is go to index.html file, and we can just add the controller. So we say main controller. And then that's pretty much it for now. So we have this basic Angular application, and we can just print out the message. And if you go to your browser and try to run this now, you'll see that it, you'll just see this on the browser because we didn't actually connect anything yet. So what we have to do is compile this TypeScript to normal JavaScript, which we can do using what we installed before. So we'd say TSC. So if you're not familiar with terminal command prompt, you have to navigate to that folder. The easiest way is um, open your terminal, open a uh, window explorer or finder, 
and then drag that folder to the terminal. So I should have also mentioned type cd space and then drag that folder in. And then that'll take you right to that folder. So now that we're here, let's say TSC, which is TypeScript, the TypeScript library. Then we type the name of the file we want to compile. It takes a couple seconds. And you can see a new file appeared here. And it looks more familiar. It's not using any classes or anything. It's just plain JavaScript. So now we can import that file to our HTML file. This is source, script.js. And then if we open this file in our browser, uh, looks like there's an error. So let's try to figure this out. Angular is not defined. So that's a mistake on my part. The script has, the script has to come after the Angular import. So we can see hello world here. Here's. And that's just a simple example of how to use TypeScript. You could do a lot more with it than what I did. So uh, let me know if you have any questions, and thank you.